Hi there everybody, welcome to another video. On today's video I have this VW Passat. This is a 2006 model and I'm going to be changing the gearbox oil in it. The gearbox and the actual um, strainer that is sitting inside of the gearbox. So we're gonna do everything from underneath. Um, don't really need to do anything from up here. This is a petrol, I think it's a 1.8 or 2 liter FSI engine. So it's a petrol engine, not the diesel version. And I have this oil here that was delivered to me, um, auto transmission D3, semi-synthetic automatic transmission fluid. Um, so apparently this is recommended for this car and i got five liters here so i'm hoping that i won't be needing more than five liters i think it takes well it probably takes six or seven but the amount that we actually drain is around three or three point something some, uh, usually the actual strainer is this one here the febby the one that i have Baby Bilstein and well, what's the part number there? But uh, you need to make sure you get the correct one for your car. Um, so go by the chassis or your registration and get the correct one because sometimes they can be slightly different for different models. So this one comes like that. So there is different sizes of these. Some are a little bit smaller and whatnot. That's why you need to get the correct one. This one also has a gasket for the pan, gearbox pan. And uh, that's it really. I just got the bonnet open because I was doing something else. Also, I was running the car for about half an hour. So the gearbox oil will be warm. Um, and so we're gonna drain it now. So I'm gonna get the car up and we'll start the process. Okay, so looking at the car from underneath, you're going to find a cover here that you need to remove. It's held in by some, some uh, Torx screws. Um, it's just seven of them, I think. Um, they are T20s, as far as I remember. So it's just a cover that's sitting here. It, it's kind of sits up to this point if you were not removing the pan then perhaps you wouldn't have to remove it but since i'm gonna take the pan out it's easier to have that cover out because it sort of obstructs here a little bit um the other thing is we need an allen key size 5 to remove this um, bolt to drain the oil and also i am going to measure how much oil it comes out so I can put the exact amount, amount back in. Uh, so there is another method of refilling your oil, obviously by means of measuring the temperature. And while the gearbox oil is at a certain temperature, you can um, put the correct amount of oil. Uh, however, you need a software or, uh, yeah, you definitely need a software to to be connected to the car to tell you the temperature of the gearbox at the time that you're doing it um, and uh, but this other method also works quite well just measure the amount that comes out and try to put the exact amount back in i mean it's always going to be give and take a few mils but uh, that's not going to be a big issue there so <laughs> just noticed that uh, we do have actually um, this is where you would normally have your um, filler gauge for measuring the oil in the gearbox so we could potentially remove this and actually fill the oil through this hole so I'm gonna see um, how to open this bit up here if we can open it, then we can obviously 
uh, fill the gearbox through through here. Um, otherwise, you can do it through here. I have done it before. Um, you just need obviously the right size hose or whatever. I'm using an, uh, an electric pump to pump the oil back in, by the way. Um, this is an electric pump that I got, but I think there are uh, other types of pumps that you can manually pump the oil in, and they seem to be a little bit better and faster than the one I have, because mine is uh, getting a little bit on. Um, so anyway, having said all of that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we're gonna try to get on with things here. So first things I'm going to see if I can open that little cover there to get access to the gearbox. And then we're gonna crack open this here with a five mil Allen. You need to be quite sturdy with this and make sure it sits in properly. So we'll uh, look at that in a minute. Okay, so I just cleaned the area here a little bit. Now, um, I've already opened this and I pulled this out a little bit. But uh, the way I did it is basically, I got a pin like this, put it in the side there, and then pushed, pushed it sort of like that. And that pushed this bit here, that bit there, which opened this little red cover here. So that's how the pin, that's how that is sitting there. You want to push it on the side, on the bottom bit, in, and then I sort of twist this a little bit and it pushed it open. Once you get that out, it will release this cover. But that cover doesn't just uh, come out easily either. You sort of have to put your screwdriver in, on the side here and on the other side, because it's got two sort of bits. These bits here are clipping onto the top of this. So they are clipping there and therefore it's a little bit hard to pull it out. But uh, once it's, once you've got it moving, because it, it, it will also have some uh, O-rings in there. And those O-rings are going to make it a little bit hard to to push but basically that's what we are doing here so it is coming out and that could just be another point to fill up the oil In, if need be so as you can see the o-ring is just there that's why it's a little bit hard to remove right it's come out it's gone flying here there we are two o-rings obviously they just uh in there so it makes sure the oil doesn't come out so with that out of the way we can actually fill the oil through here either from the top by gravity or I might try to use my electric pump to pump oil into that hole. It really depends how fast it goes in because uh, if I'm using the electric pump and this gets stuck somewhere in there it will start coming out. <laughs> so anyway at least we have one option there the other option is just to pump it in through here as well. So now we're gonna crack that open and release the oil. Okay, let's crack this open. Make sure your five mil Allen key sits properly in there, even if you have to tap it in with your hammer or something. Just make sure it's sitting in there properly because you don't wanna damage that bolt. So now, we want to open it. These are sometimes get so stuck, they're really hard to open. So I hope I can. If I can't, then I'll have to leave it until I order a new one, one of these and then find another way of taking this out. So. Um, right. 
Okay, that opened. So that was quite hard to open. Now I want to get my measuring cup under this. Okay, so that was a bit of a disaster because <laughs> my my pan here moved. Anyway, I do have a pan sitting under this container in order to catch any oil that may flow in the wrong direction, such as what just happened now. So that's the backup plan here. The, although the plan is obviously not to hold this here, but uh, this is going to drain for a little bit. And then there's another part that we need to remove from there in order to um, drain the extra that is up there. So there's like a tiny little plastic measuring stick inside of this other bit here, so... So I can't really uh, pick up my funnel because uh, otherwise I have to let this go. <laughs> so always be prepared for disasters. Um, just when I'm trying to keep things not messy Everything goes 20 times more messier. It is so slow when you're working with cars. There's definitely no way to avoid it. And uh, you can maybe see that the, the color of the oil here is a little bit red. It's got a hint of red, but it's, uh, it's also quite black. So that blackness really is... Uh, it's to do with the, the time that that oil has been in there and it hasn't been changed. <laughs> I'm just gonna temporarily fit that in there. Pick up my funnel. So while that is draining, I'm just going to uh, remove some of the 10 mil bolts that hold this uh, pan in place. So we have 10 mils all around, just going to loosen them. Okay, so with the same five milli Allen key, there will be another bit that you need to remove just by hand. It's just a little plastic, um, like a little plastic stick, sort of helps when you refill the gearbox. Uh, it's like a little measuring device to let you know how much oil to fit in here. So it, it's just tight, it, it's normally just fits in by hand so you can remove it by hand as well uh, like I said it's just a little plastic stick there we are that's what it looks like it's in by hand so you don't need any tools just a five mil the same that you use to open the bolt and now we can let the rest of that oil drain. When we remove the oil pan, there will still be a little bit of oil in there. So, um, 
so far nearly 2.2 liters came out not really even three liters but there will be a little bit more here and when we remove the actual um, filter as well some will come out so like I said that's why it's a good idea to have your oil pan sitting underneath uh, even if your measuring can here fails then you can catch whatever goes in there and then try to <laughs> measure it as well right so well that is uh, coming out I am going to start removing some of the 10 mils but I'm going to leave a couple of them uh, connected so I can obviously uh, I'm gonna close that first before I actually remove the last two of these okay that's stopped uh, draining now so I'm just gonna fit the little stick back in there like I said just put that in by hand it will go up to a certain point where it will stop so just there it stops so don't over tighten don't you don't need to go mad with it <laughs> just finger tight and take that out and you can actually fit your uh, gearbox some bolt as well and in fact I'm just going to tighten that now so I don't forget okay so the next task is to remove the sump and I mean the gearbox sump and then catch whatever oil we have in there so I'm just going to get this out of here And try to put your your uh, oil pan for catching whatever oil is gonna be dripping from here. Try to put it under the the uh, gearbox oil pan. Okay, so there's uh, like almost another half a liter here sitting in the pan. A little bit difficult to show you right now, but uh, but that's what I'm going to try to catch. So we know exactly. Well, there's my pan. You can see <laughs> the oil in there. So I'm gonna put that oil into my jack down here. Okay, here we are. Here's uh, the oil that I've caught as much as possible and whatever extra bits are draining into here. That's what I mean when I say there will be some give and take oil because we're definitely going to lose a little bit here and there. And here's our oil pan. We're gonna clean this, give it a nice clean, clean the magnets. There's two magnets in there and remove the gasket, put the new gasket in. So I'm going to prepare all of that. Okay, so while this was draining for a little bit extra time, I was cleaning the pan, um, just preparing it for refitting. Um, we're gonna have a look at that in a second but um, we need to remove this filter now. So again, make sure your uh, oil pan is sitting underneath to catch whatever oil may come out of here, because some oil will come out of here as well. So, and whenever you, um, we're gonna replace this filter obviously, but just make sure you refit 
the same exact same filter. So I just have three 10 mil bolts holding it. So we need to get that out. The filter will be a little bit stuck in there. And I'm just trying to gradually loosen it. So as to catch the oil. So just note your old filter has two entrances there and that big hole there and the three the three bolts, ten mil bolts holding it. So I'm just gonna get uh, take the opportunity now to fit fit the new filter in here. I can find a hole for that. Everything is a little bit slippery. <laughs> and it's a bit cold as well. Again, be very careful with these ones. They will easily snap. So I haven't got the torque setting for this, but um, is the way they came out. They were really soft in there. Um, so it's not more. It's no more than eight or ten newton meters. I mean, I'll have a look. I'll try to find the actual torque setting for them but uh, obviously when you do a few you start getting to know the feel but uh, if i keep going if i over tighten this not only i will over tighten but i will break the actual bolt so that is something that we definitely want to avoid we don't want to be breaking anything um so in any case you can also find that kind of information on the internet just a quick Google search, uh, torque setting for uh, oil strainer, VW uh, Passat gearbox, that's it, and you will get some uh, information. So I'll try and, and do that, it's just sometimes I don't get the time to do it. Anyway, um, now we can look at the pan. Okay, here's uh, my oil pan, I gave it a good clean. You can see it's looking nice and clean without any bits or debris or anything like that. You don't really want to have anything in there that can jeopardize your gearbox. Uh, these are the magnets. So these magnets just come out. Just take them out. They will be really covered in some black stuff, which is, uh, I think it's like a mi microscopic bits of metal from the wear and tear of the gearbox which get caught on these magnets. Um, and when you clean them, it's a little bit hard to get the black stuff off, but you just have to keep cleaning it and it does come off. Um, do your best anyway. Uh, obviously, if a little bit is left, it's not, again, not the end of the world because it was already there. But uh, obviously you don't want to do this job in in a while again, so the best way, the way best you do it now, the longer it will last. As in, 
you don't have to do it prematurely but next time it's due and then you will have this gasket as well the gasket um, the gasket will come with these chrome spacers separately so you just have to fit them in uh, yourself not a big issue just push, push them in so get them out of the box and you push them in in the little holes in there and then we get our gasket in here make sure it goes nicely all around it should it should fit nicely all around i think this is spacers what they do actually is when you when you fit the bolt in here it prevents you from squeezing squeezing the gasket too much so you can only get it so tight if you if you tighten it anymore the bolt will break but uh, you will not actually damage uh, the gasket because you will not be able to tighten it any more than the spacer here so it's quite a clever idea and um, anyway those bolts are like tightened to eight newton meters or something like that it's a very soft torque setting again i haven't got the official figure but uh, we'll have a look at that well i'll try to search it and put it in the video anyway next i'm gonna put a little bit of oil or grease around this gasket just so it sits nicely when once we fit it um, so that's the next stage uh, just put the the, uh, the grease and uh, take it to the gearbox there okay I've got my oil pan here ready to go back in there nice and clean actually something I forgot to mention just clean the area around where your new gasket is going to sit just to make sure there's no uh, nothing around it that can prevent it from sitting properly and then you're gonna have a leak okay now I'm going to fit one of these first And again, fit these bolts in by hand if you can, so you avoid damaging them if you fit them by with the machine or the ratchet. They have to go in by hand, in, they need to go in easily basically. They have to go in through that little spacers obviously okay once you've tightened the bolts now we are ready to put some oil in so I'm going to uh, try and put a hose in this, this filling hole here and we'll try to fill it in that way. Okay, so if you reach this far, well done. Now I've got, um, I've connected my hose uh, here for filling the oil through here. So I just got this hose here and this hose, uh, I just put it down here and it's going all the way up so i'm going to lower the car now and i'm going to connect uh, this container to it so we're going to put oil in here and we're going to fill it through the top um, however we just have to keep an eye and monitor that as the oil comes in here it's actually not overfilling or anything like that because it might start coming out the side 
and obviously we're gonna do some oil so I'm gonna let put in a little bit first and then see how this uh, behaves um, it might just be a, a long process so obviously I won't film the whole of putting the oil but uh, the first bit I will so we know what happens um, so anyway let's get the car down now okay so I connected the hose to that put a little bit of oil in there not a lot um, around 200 mil according to this container and um, I forgot to show you but uh, the amount I measured in the end coming out of the gearbox is on the three liter mark there so I'm gonna put back in three liters however uh, we can uh, give and take like I said um, up to 50 mils which we could have lost um, on the spill or the amounts that were around the, the, my container there obviously I cleaned my container but this was full of the oil um, whatever was left in here so it, but it's not tons obviously it's not in the hundreds I think uh, around 50 mil um, will be more or less the amount that was lost so I'm gonna put three liters plus 50 mil um, and um, now I'm going to open this and see as the oil goes in right let's open this oil is going in and uh, let's make sure it's not dripping all over the place may need a light <laughs> yes so okay so I reduced the rate at which this is uh, going down just by adjusting this bit here and uh, although there might be a few drops coming out from there um, I'm just measuring I will measure how much it actually comes out just uh, to make sure we uh, top up whatever comes out so just have to make sure that my little glass here is sitting in the correct place and catching whatever comes out of there so it's dripping a bit but if you could have a hose that is a little bit thicker, that fits that hole a bit better, then uh, that would create a seal around there, which may help uh, the filling process without having a, a leak. But anyway, We'll uh, keep an eye on all of that and uh, I will be filling this. Once I'm done with my three liters, I will check how much is come out and uh, add that to the, to the end. Okay, I got my three liters in there. Three liters and uh, I got one of these uh, cups here to catch the oil that is overflown from there and uh, just to measure it so I know how much I lost now um, if you look at that there is well let's put it here and we have a uh, we have a 50 mark, 50 mils there. This is not even, this is for probably around 10. <laughs> That's 40, 30, so 10 or so. 10 to 20 mils that I lost um, 
from the overfill so not a lot we can compensate that with adding a little bit of this um, I'm going to add another 50 mils because that's more or less what I um, what I calculated I may have lost overall um, on the spills so um, usually I get that's more or less what I get I get three three to 3.2 liters coming out of these gearboxes so um, I'm going to add a little bit extra and I'm just gonna get the car up and uh, put all the things back together okay so I think the rest here goes without saying um, I'm going to remove the hose it's a uh, finish going in I'm going to fit the little cover and put the lock back in place then uh, we're going to refit the cover down here and the last important step will be to go into the car start the car and run the gears so we'll do that to make sure that everything is okay and i will end the video at that point so um for now um afterwards you can also check around your gasket if you have any leaks while the car is running and whatnot so for now i'm going to do this and uh, then we'll see you at the in the car okay so last but not least get the engine going and uh, run the gearbox through the gears just making sure you have smooth changes and uh, no banging or anything like that I didn't have any issues with the gearbox before changing the oil I'm just changing it as a routine so um, I don't expect any bangs or anything as such and I'm not doing it I didn't change the oil to solve any problems so um, if there are any problems then I may you know either I didn't put enough oil or I put too much or anything like that but so far so good it's running through all the gears with no issues here so and I can't hear any weird noises so I'm just running it through there a few seconds through each um, stage even neutral just put it on S and then once you've done this um, take it for a drive um, if you hear any weird noises if you hear it, or if you notice any banging or anything like that you may need to uh, obviously if you didn't have any issues before then you you may have some issues with uh, the amount of oil that you put in uh, in which case you may need to plug in a computer to measure the temperature and then do it the way that is done by a software the filling up of the oil so so far all is good here very smooth changes and in fact I'm gonna go now so um, everything is good nothing feels weird um, so like I said just try to fit back the exact amount of oil that you removed and then and you should be fine so um, having said all that I hope this video helps don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video thank you for watching